I think it's a bit different in EU because there's a lot of rookies there too, but they come from a very competitive leagues. But in NA, Academy is a joke. Like, let's be real. Academy players, they could potentially be good, but in most cases, they're not, they're not going to be very good. Or they, they'll be they'll be okay. They'll be average, right? They, they can be like maybe mid-tier LCS, low-tier LCS, but they're, they will, uh, they're not going to be good for at least... They would, they would need to play LCS for like two to three years to be... Top top three, maybe, maybe even then, maybe maybe even then that's like that might even be unrealistic. So to actually have good academy players, they, they would need to be on like top tier teams, and they would have to play for years, in my opinion. So then it's like it's hard to have really competitive rosters with a lot of rookies, in my opinion. There will, of course, there will of course be a few outliers, but even then, it's like there will just be better players or better options, you know. So it's like when most teams decide to go rookie, rookie options or inexperienced player options, it's kind of just like a development type of situation. So it's like, yeah, maybe maybe in, maybe in two or three years we'll be a competitive team, but. Until then, you know, we'll, we'll be chilling.